All right, let's. We're gonna go ahead and get started. This um, is for Gail Dothard, my OTC aunt. That is, um, and her colors were yellow, red, and purple. Okay, so what I'm gonna start with is my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, a eyeshadow base, and probably any eyeshadow base will do. I'm going to pack this on. In one of my makeup sponges, I'm going to blend it out. But I still want to keep it heavy. Because with this uh, sugar peel eyeshadow, it will stain your eyelids and you will be walking around for a couple of days or until you scrub your eyes. I mean, scrub them good too to get the eyeshadow off. And I'm just gonna get that harsh line off with my finger, blending it up upwards. Now I'm, I have dedicated brushes for my eyeshadows because they are so pigmented. I'm using a um, e.l.f. Cosmetics All Over Eyeshadow Brush. You know, if, you can, if the camera will focus, it focuses when it wants to. But this is the e.l.f. Cosmetic Eyeshadow um, All Over Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm using my Sugar Peel, um, I believe this is Burning Heart. And I'm going to start with Butter Cupcake. That's the yellow color, Butter Cupcake. And I'm just getting a great deal of that onto my brush. Okay. And I'm starting that in the corner of my eyes. Notice I'm not sweeping. I'm just patting just to get a good amount of that eyeshadow onto my eyelid and I'm going to take it about halfway over and this is going to help me with um, blending in my next color and I'm going to take another brush that I have dedicated for my red color and this is this this is the same type brush from elf cosmetics it's an all-over eyeshadow brush and I'm getting a very liberal amount of red and that red color is called Love Plus. And see, I have quite a bit on there. And I'm going to pat that on. Right over the yellow. I'm just going to leave a small portion open for the purple, which I believe is called Poison Plum. And again, I'm just tapping. I'm just tapping it, the eyeshadow onto my eyelid. And a little over the crease, right there in the socket. And same brush, this one is dedicated for my pink and my purple. And I'm just going to get a good deal of the purple onto my brush. And I'm just dragging it across the, I'm not digging, I'm just dragging it across, okay. And I'm going to put that in the corner V of my eyelid. I'm going to extend it out, I'm going towards my brow bone, and in a little crack. I 
And I'm going to bring that in overlapping the yellow and the red. Just a little bit over the yellow because once I blend, I'm going to be dragging it into that yellow with my blend blender brush. Okay. Now for the blending brush, I'm using another e.l.f. brush and it's a blending eye brush and it's also by e.l.f. Cosmetics. Now what I want to do, I want to keep the eyeshadow handy, I want to keep that open and handy um, because I may have to dip back into it in order to get the blending. But what I also can do is take some of this leftover, some of the fallout and wipe that off with the brush, the blending brush, and I can go back in and in, in a flicking motion. I'm not rubbing it. I'm not rubbing. I'm not rubbing. I'm just flicking. Okay? And if you can see that a little bit, that yellow and red are, has already made orange. And that's okay. So I'm just going to rub that off. Go back into my little uh, yellow and get a little bit on my brush and again go into a flicking motion to blend that into the red and up into the purple and since I'm up here in the purple I'm going to go ahead and blend the purple down I'm going back up here and I'm pressing harder up here to drag some of it down into my yellow Okay. And each time I'm touching the colors, I'm wiping my brush off so that the colors won't blend in and make another color like it made the orange. Okay. I'm going to go back into my red. And I'm going to blend that out into the purple. And again, this is just a light flicking motion that I'm using. That's how I blend. Now for the purple to prevent anything from falling out, I'm just taking the blender brush and I'm sweeping across it. I'm brushing across it. Across the red and back across the yellow to blend that out okay and to give myself a highlight because that's just what I do I'm going to take my blending brush I've wiped it off so I'm getting all the residual um, eyeshadow off that I've used for blending and that I picked up from blending I'm going to take the yellow onto the brush. And it's going to look harsh at first, but once we get to blending and everything, you'll see that it'll it'll fade right in. And I don't mind that it's gotten onto my eyebrows. That's fine. So I'm just blending this out. And it has a slight hint, hint of yellow at the top and it's blended into the purple and this also is not only giving you a highlight but it's taking that harsh line off the top of the purple right in here I guess I could have did a little better but that's okay and I'm using my Milani eyebrow pencil. This is, um, what color is this? Natural taupe. I don't even think that's my color, but we're going to make it do what it do. And this is neat because it has a spoolie on the end of it. And this is the taupe color. I don't know how well you can see that, but let's see. 
you can at an angle you can see it's a little light almost the color of my walls but that's okay I just want to go under my brow and kind of um, redefine it a little bit you can also use this to lighten up your brows if you have dark brows This will help you define and defining your brow. Put the cat back on that. And I'm going to take the spoolie side and I'm just going to blend it up. Now I'm going to take my Milani liquid eyeliner. This is so cute and I can definitely carry this in my purse. It's called iTech Liquid Eyeliner and it's by Milani. As you can see it the other way a lot better, but it's M-I-L-A-N-I. -I. There it is. Milani iTech Liquid Eyeliner. Is that upside down? That's upside down. Okay, iTech Liquid Eyeliner by Milani. I actually got this from Walmart. It's like four dollars and something. And it's like a little felt tip pen. I find this easier for me to control because it's not long, it's small, and it is thick. So I'm just going to line my eye. I always start from the middle. Out. And then for the eyebrows, I'm going to use Extremely Black Volume Flash Mousse. It's by Rimmel. It's Extremely Black. Now a trick that I um, use is I blank real hard. I can actually feel the brush underneath my eye, underneath where the eyel eyelashes are, and I just blink real hard. 